long day here in Daytona Beach, Florida for these drivers. It's going to be a little longer. So what do you think? Uh, you think 14 jumps on the high side as quick as he can? <laughs> I mean, you have to, don't you? You have to. You, you have can't to do follow something. him. No, you I mean, can't follow him. You know, you got to say, hey, Kurt, I'm going up high. Go with me, you know, in the 78 car because, the, I mean, Jimmy Johnson just needs a class of the field right now. And those, that car is so strong, you're going to have to do it in a hurry. Yeah, and, and you know, if you're if you're back past sixth or seventh, this is not Talladega where you've got time to, to make something happen on, on a green-white checkered. It doesn't seem to be or never has been historically. Let me let me. Oh, they'll get five wide on the back. Yeah, you got to make something happen in these first in this first little bit here. Front three rows. You got three drivers looking for their first win of the year: McMurray, Boyer, and Kurt Busch. And there they are, four wide behind them. And because you've got to, you've got to make something happen right here. Wow. Starting to make it happen there, shuffling down the back straightaway. Jimmy Johnson once again able to gain the top spot. Strong. Man, that is strong. That's a, that's a power I mean, move you know, by that 48. And, and, and nobody can do anything. You know, it's easy to say, well, you got to do this and jump on the outside of them. You can't get to it. No, that was a power move. He just powered away from the pack as they come down through there. You got to get wide. White flag is out. Next flag will decide it. Wow. Tony Stewart feeling good, and how about Kurt Busch in that outside lane with help from David Gilmore? Oh, here we go. We, we got go. trouble. Then it's there over. we go. That's it. Like I said, you lead at the white. That's it. You're good to go. But they may no race to the finish. Yet. They're yep. going to let them race back here. That happened over in turn two, so they got plenty uh, of room. Wow. Hey, let them race, boys. Hopefully they're cleared when they get back down there. Tony Stewart won this race last year. He's won it 29, 29 shoving the 14. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but through turns three and four for the final time. Off the corner, here comes Jimmy Johnson. He's dominated the race. Now he can see the finish line. That's Bush in the outside lane. Not making a move. Oh, Trouble behind him. Danica. Danica and others. Jimmy Johnson gets the win at Daytona. Yeah, she got turned right there. That was that was a dominating performance by the 48 yes, team tonight. Let's see. Right, guys, thank you. Awesome. That's another race, the last three or four races, and, and I know people get tired of it hearing us talk about him, but the last three or four races, he's dominated these races. Yeah. It's, he's not just won them, he has, and he's lost some of them, just like last week at Kentucky, but he dominated that race. You think about Pocono, where he did win, Dover, where he didn't get the victory, black flag late, certainly last week, as you mentioned, at Kentucky, and here tonight, leading 93 of 161 laps. You saw the machine of Kyle Busch parked on track, and there he goes, the long walk back toward the garage. How many times have we seen this storyline play out? A huge crash coming to the checkered flag. Had two of them on the final lap. Carl went across to get scored. He is back in the 26th spot. Another bad week for him. Yeah. You know he's not happy about that. And this will shake it. up the points. This you know, is we talked shake it about up, yes. it. You know, we're looking at some guys plus five, plus six. Uh, Kurt Busch is up to ninth, uh, 14th, up to 10th. Let's go back to that final lap. Jimmy Johnson leading and look behind him. This is the, the first wreck after the white flag. Yeah. Carl just gets, just as we saw, just as we saw the five car of Kane get slammed and sent to the inside. Carl got slammed going the other way and got slammed into the outside wall. No caution after this. You see Carl right there yeah, it looks as like the 13 car moves up on him yeah. and, just, and sends him around. Yeah. Scott Speed, Bobby Labonte out there. Joe Nemechek nowhere to go. Like David Reagan, barely able to sneak by. And because all of this happened well behind the leaders, and it was over in turn two, NASCAR said, let them race back to the line. Give them a finish. Yeah, that was good. That was, I'm glad they did that. Great for the fans. And the track was clean. And obviously, they were gonna, next time they came back through this corner, they were going to be under caution. Yeah, yeah, slow down. So Jimmy Johnson matches Matt Kenseth. 
Each driver has now won four times this season. And Jimmy, the first to sweep the 500 and the 400 at Daytona since 1982, when Bobby Allison was able to get both trophies. Let's hear from his teammate. Disappointing end of the night for Casey Kane, Chris. Yeah, Casey Kane just released from the in infield care center. And Casey, that was a big hit coming off turn two, getting into that inside wall. Yeah, we were, you know, I, Jimmy moved up to block the outside row coming. And um, so I had kind of at that point I had the lead. I'd followed Jimmy a lot throughout the race and felt really good with uh, with our Hendrickcars.com Chevrolet. Next thing I know, I got slammed and shot shot left. So it was uh, it was the end of our night. I mean, it's, it's kind of how these races go. You, you, you don't have a lot of control over some of the things that happen here. And um, luckily, and I'm happy our car was fast and, and we put a good showing out. We ran up front the whole race. Good to see you're okay. Casey Kane entered number one in the wild card chase. He's now number two in that position, 12th overall in the championship. Martin Truex Jr. with a win at Sonoma, 11 in the title chase, number one when it comes to the wild card. So we've looked at wreck one on the final lap. Now here they are coming off a of turn four. Yeah, you see uh, Kurt Busch go to the high side. He's got Earnhardt, Patrick, and Ooh. Danica gets just tangled up with the, the 38, 38 car. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, like I said, once that starts happening, Ryan Newman nowhere to go. You see the damage for Jeff Burton. J.J. Yaley involved in an accident. Yeah, it's, it's just, I can't tell what happened. You know, David Gillen was right there in the middle. Like, there's nowhere he oh, could really go, but. Man, Kyle Busch took a hard hit up into the 13 oh, car. Newman but, gets clobbered by Burton. Yeah, and, and at that point in time, Danica gets turned down across the racetrack, and as she's coming down, she clips a car. You see her come down across the racetrack right here, across the hood of Ricky Stenthouse. Turn the 18, watch the 18 turn right here and go straight back up the racetrack, and you can't see it, but just pins a 13 on the wall right here. But uh, that, that Tough hits right there. Yeah, but I, I, that actually helped the 18 as yes. far as, because if, oh, if yeah. he didn't get into mirrors, that 18 was going to hit yeah. as hard as uh, Casey. Yeah, and that 18 was going to hit like he hit a couple years ago when Tony and him got together right. and turned him into the outside get wall right there. and all that, so. Here's the 18 down on the inside. Thinks he's clear, and now all of a sudden you'll see right here. And it happens so fast. The Coke Zero 400 on TNT, brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you look at this race from a statistical standpoint, it will tell you that Jimmy Johnson absolutely dominated. He did a week ago as well, but tonight he gets the checkered flag and an opportunity to celebrate his